How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. Like I said, I got this money I'm looking to spend. I'm going to join these guys' this poker game. They just keep staring at the how to play poker card from the, that came with the deck. Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have I have meat. Let's play. You put 20 meat on the table. God, that's got to be such a gross sight. I don't know what quantity 20 meat is. Like, I don't know how you quantify meat in a value other than a weight. So I don't know, is he just throwing down like a pile of little like little roast chunks, a couple bacon strips, and like one or two links of sausage. Like, I don't know what, what a pile of 20 meat looks like. I don't think I really want to know. You sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily. Hmm, you know you got a rube here. Time to bust out some old card shark and sh show them what's up. And deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. Uh, I don't know what game we're playing but uh i'll bet ag uh, aggressively using my moxie yeah i'll bet 15 meat they look at each other nervously but they both call your bet okay read them and weep you show off your pair of tens plus two three king the guy on the left has a full house two jacks and three aces and the guy on the right somehow got a straight plus two through six in hearts uh <laughs> uh I don't win, but maybe I'll try and horn swoggle them using my my one horn swoggling skill. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of twenty one points to the guy on the right's twenty and your twenty five plus a king. And the king represents. Oh, hey, look over there. They <laughs> use the middle of making up rules to like a made up game because they obviously don't know the rules I guess you're in the middle of making it up and then you bail on that and just try to distract them and said that's some mighty fine horn swoggling I think that that's like a horn swoggle on a horn swoggle I'm, I'm amazed that didn't take a level two horn swoggler I must be one of the best in the land they look and when they look back they didn't notice the 10 meat missing from each of their piles you collect your winnings and stand up the guys thank you for helping them learn the game <laughs> you gain 50 meat uh, so I actually won some, but then I also actually robbed them? Damn, that's, uh, that's the type of horn swoggling I like to see. Now I'm actually only just one horse away from being able to afford a horse. Wait, wait a minute, the shovel came up for a second? Why would I shovel it? <laughs> it's nasty work, but somebody's got to do it. You gained XP. Well, I guess it was worth it. I get meat gains, more items, liver capacity, totally worth it. Wow, I, I can get experience for shoveling all this shit? Well, heck yeah. That's like as much XP as you get for like killing a goblin. So you get three XP for a goblin, you get one for shoveling a pile of shit. That'll clean up this town. I mean, the sheriff is in charge of cleaning up the town in terms of getting rid of crime and stuff. I'll clean up the town just by making sure there's not shits lying everywhere. I'd pick up that coconut as well if I could, but it doesn't seem like that's a real option. Uh, yeah, let's go find more horses. We'll go to the Boring Springs Boneyard. Our our founder, Zephania Bor Zef Boring? He was actually a really interesting guy. Shame he had such an unfortunate name. More mugs to recover. Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early, well before the western lands had been established. Wonder who dug his grave then? Beauregard Skeleton, the captain of 3rd Cavalry. It's an option to dig up his grave, hey? I imagine if I do that, then I'll make some of this happen. This is a really, I like this skeleton. Although he looks like he wants help, he doesn't look like he's, he's like trying to dig his way out, he's flailing for people and stuff, he doesn't look like a scary skeleton. A skeleton, you're not gonna... You're not getting past it without a scuffle. Uh, well, it looked like he just wanted help. I thought I could be helpful for the guy, but sure, I'll fight him, I guess. Ah, I thought I'd fight him while he was still on the ground. An agitated skeleton. Well, I actually have a gun now, uh, and he doesn't have a lot of health, so this should be a bit of a, an easy fight for me. Look at that. Huge. And presumably the shield? Or maybe... Oh, it's just a, it's my melee weapon. I thought maybe it was a shield, but it's just my alternative melee. Well... I haven't done a single melee attack, so I might as well give it a try, see what that's all about. The skeleton collapses into a pile of loose bones. You got three experience. I don't know how many action points I actually have. I'm not sure where to look for that exactly. I'll have to keep an eye out for it in the next battle. Ooh, I dug up a Captain, Skel Captain Skeleton. 
No, so he's actually a pirate this time. I will spend my action point on a quick whip so I can get this guy poisoned. Since he has a little more health, the battle might go on a little bit longer. Although really when I think about it, I probably could have just done... Like, oh, he, he has a little bit more defense, so it's not going to do 8 to 9 this time around. It does a little bit less. Alright, and since this guy does a fair amount of damage, I'm probably going to be pretty glad to have poisoned him after all. Son of a bitch, he's strong. I, luckily, it looks like I heal at the end of each battle. Oh, thank goodness. That was a little bit sketchy. 12 experience, holy damn. More glamour, more meat bonuses item finding. I'm good with that. Old cavalry saber. Here comes the cavalry saber. <laughs> and a gold tooth. This was in the ground for a very long time, then in somebody's mouth for a very short time, and now it's in your backpack. Fantastic. Glad glad to have it. I, I'm sure it'll be mighty useful. Well, yeah, that's stronger than the broken board. Let's swap those out. I like the look of having, having the sword and the pistol together. Classic snake oiler. Haven't been doing a ton of snake-related things. I guess I whipped a few people, but that's about it. Oh, here we go. Here's our very, very pale horse. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Oh, it's not just pale. It's straight up you see through her. You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. It's probably not very used to being approached. People probably don't see it very, very easily. Hello there, hi, I'm a friend, okay? Nay, that's a little strange, how you did that without opening your mouth. Pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her one more time. Yep, still cold. How about, what happens, is there like a limit to the number of pats you can give this horse? Does it read some sort of an absurd breaking point where something happens? That's plenty of pats, you can have the oats now. Here you go girl, have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through it. Urgh. Please don't look at me like that. <laughs> Pat her on the nose again, still cold, try the oats again. What's the matter, are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? <laughs> Is that a yes? Weird, okay. Add some grave dirt to the oats. You sprinkle the oats with a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them and then eats them. Nay! I don't like doing horse noises. And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. Well, bizarre. <laughs> Timothy Cochran, devoted husband. Elizabeth ha Cochran, beloved daughter. Silas Cochran, a baby. Wow, that's really fucking sad. I thought it was going to be like devoted husband and then like adultering wife or something like that. That's really sad. What's with what's with having the Cochran family, like a really sad family just out here? Jeez, West of Loathing, why? Why the sadness? It was a very skinny grave. Uh, that's probably everything I can do out here. I might as well move to the Thousand Snakes Gulch then. I like snakes. It's another place to find a horse. Rummage around in these bushes. I saw something twinkle over here. One of these rocks is really shiny. Grab it. It's the shiny rock. It's shiny, and it's about the size of a rock. I think I'll call it shiny rock. You can hurt yourself. <laughs> you look at all these cactuses you can just keep running into. Are they aren't actually hurting me, are they? Because I was running into them all over town and didn't really seem to do much. What the? I didn't really look at what the hell the stomachs and all these do. Your stomach capacity determines how many food items you can eat before you need a nap. You just get a little sleepy from snacking too hard. But also, you can't take naps. You can only go to sleep for an entire night. Uh, and determines how many alcoholic drinks you can handle before you have to sleep it off. And determines how many potions you can use in one day. Interesting. Interesting that I can upgrade my organs. I can improve my mental ability and my physical ability and also my innards. The snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. We'll fight it. Snake on snake. I'll show you who's the best snake around. Uh, I might as well just go straight for an attack. Whatever. Seems like it'll be a, an easy enough battle anyways. Uh, no, no action point required, so I'll just give that a quick chop. Suck on that, snake. You have slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murderin' the, the Grimy. God, I wish my name was different. 
Say the full thing. I'm just gonna automatically start filling in the full thing. Snake murdering the grimy slinger. And I got more gumption. Your level of get up and get her done. The higher it is, the quicker you are. More speed, maximum AP. Ooh, that's good. That's good to have, actually. I'm excited to have that. And more spleen capacity. You collect venom and medicine. Well, I already got plenty of that in my briefcase, but it doesn't, it doesn't uh, hurt to have more. You get a perk. Mostly scabs for running into so many things? Where the hell... Oh, perk. There, there it is. You've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an entire extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture roots. Plus 5 maximum HP? Who would have known that just bouncing around on cactuses would do something? Well, honestly, I kind of half expected that it would because this game just has so many layers of ridiculous shit like that. But I, I, I felt like I had once I had run into it as many times as I did and nothing had happened that that would be the cutoff point. But hey, what do you know? Uh, the, uh, a startled rattlesnake. Uh, well, let's just give him. Let's give him a quick little shot. C a couple of quick shots. Seems like it does plenty of damage. Is that a? Is that a poison? Ah, uh, yeah, he did poison me. That son of a bitch. Better finish that guy off. Collect his sweet, sweet venomy meat. What? What do I? Get? I get grit next time. The extent to which you are truly gritty. Wow, that's a shitload of HP. That'll be... I want to level up as quickly as I can. Extra stomach capacity, pain tolerance as well. One venom and two medicine. Where's this horse at? I, oh, I should have read the thing for the snake. I didn't realize each unique enemy was going to have its own like little write-up. I definitely should have went and read what the other one is. I just kind of skipped past it. The snake looks really angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. Let me at him. Oh, wow, this is a quick one. Uh, son of a bitch, he got the- he got it off on me first. Well, 10 damage. Shit, does that do extra because I leveled up something recently? Like my, uh, my- my skill damage or something or other? Either way, I wasn't expecting that to do quite so much damage. That was great. And this will nearly finish him off. Hopefully I do 8 and then he takes the poison damage. Ah uh, yeah, finish him off with poison. Perfect. Nice work. If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work out for you, you could always get a job as a snake exterminator. Well, I'm already a snake oiler, so it wouldn't be too far of a leap for me to become a snake exterminator, I'm sure. It took, what, four years of snake school to become a snake oiler? And there's so much overlap in the course load, you would only need like a, another another year, an, a, maybe a, a year plus a semester to become a snake exterminator? Wouldn't hurt to have two degrees. <laughs> might as well, might as well educate yourself. Wow, this horse is a little fucking insane. This horse has gone snake crazy. Or maybe he just has some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> it's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak me out. <laughs> look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare. The other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down now that it's a little clear that you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Oh, good God. Pat his nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But he seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in the skull of his. That's a boy. <laughs> Feed him notes. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. I don't know how to snurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny, or rather a... <laughs> Hopefully it's headed home, and not into the twelfth dimension. Coolio. Anything hidden in the, in the back far reaches of this? Just more cactuses, it would seem? Well, in that case, let's, let's quickly head back to Boring Springs, and collect our reward for all of these, these returned horses. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? I think it was the snakes, the snake madness. Not that I noticed. Thanks, th that's all of them. I, I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Oh, well that's mighty fine of you, good sir. Mighty good of you, fine sir. Maybe it would be more appropriate. Afternoon, sir, what can I do for you? Let me buy one of those horses. Give me a discount though, because I definitely did all of this work. Sure thing, I should warn you though, horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you've bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. I mean, 
The horse probably wouldn't want me to, but I don't see any reason why I can't change my mind. The horse might become attached to me. That doesn't, that doesn't mean I'll get attached to the horse. Which one are you interested in? Oh, the basic. You can actually take the basic. I'll take the shifty looking dark one. I'll take the spooky pale one. Give me the one with the crazy eyes. I think I want the crazy one because I'm a snake oiler and we suspect that he might have a little bit of the snake crazies. So we, a, a snake related folk gotta stick together, horse and man alike. Give me the one with the crazy eyes. I gotta warn you, that horse has seen some some stuff, but I'll sell him for a thousand meat. Is something wrong with him? Uh, let me think. Uh, is something wrong with him? No, no, not as such. He's perfectly functional. But, well, he's always sneaking off to thousand snake gults to chew on loco weed that grows there. And that makes him see crazy things? I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time anyways. Color me intrigued, I'll take him. I feel like I feel like each of these horses could actually be significant in some way. Like the shifty one could make you a better stealth guy, the spooky one could, like they, they might have different pros and cons and stuff. This guy might constantly run off to the, the gulch and we'll we'll just go s munch on loco weed together. I'm okay with that. Color me intrigued, I'll take him. And achievement unlocked, horse senseless. <laughs> Thanks, here's the keys. Ride safe. Well, that's very peculiar. Choose a name for your horse. Well, I guess I'll make him old, old dumbass. There you go, old dumbass. What a wonderful horse. Are you sure you want to name him old dumbass? You bet I do. All right then, old dumbass the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. The grimy and old dumbass. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. The South East West map, because everything is technically West in this game. Thank you so much. Well, off we go with our horse. I suppose I should probably take him with me. Ride him out of town? Ooh, maybe not just yet. Maybe I better poke around town a bit more, deal with the, uh, deal with the stuff that's over down at the, the Fricker Gang's hideout. I'll, I'll deal with that next time before we, we make our way into whatever that town over there was called. The, the dirt, wa dirt water. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.